Hi everyone, how are you? It's Sharon here and we're excited to do another DIY live with Essential Stencil. Um, I'm from the blog I Restore Stuff if you're new here to the Essential Stencil page. If you are new, let me know. I'd love to hear in the comments if you've not seen an Essential Stencil live before, if you've not played with stencils before, we're going to show you some basic things. But we are going to do a wedding theme today. So as you jump in, uh, let me know where you're watching from. Hi Martha, how are you? And I will just refresh my uh, page over here on my laptop so I can see some more comments. Mary's here, Deb's here. Good evening from Western Iowa, Deb. And Cheryl, hi, how are you? So as you're jumping on, you might want to hit that share button so we can show other people our lives. Sprinkle the love, as we like to call it. Sprinkle our um, DIY lives. We're going to be using the Welcome to Our Wedding stencil pack today as just one of the ideas. Some of the people who watch are sign makers and um, crafters who actually sell their products. But uh, this might be an idea for some of you to create for your shops or for your stalls or your stands or your markets, that kind of thing. But also I'm sure there are people who may be crafty enough to just give these as gifts for wedding gifts and things like that. Hi Julie, saying hello to the peeps. <laughs> And Diana's from Southern Iowa. Hi, Mary, thank you so much for sprinkling. I love it when you share our lives uh, because then it gives other people a chance to watch and, and see what we're working on. Now, this particular set that we're doing today, oh, sorry about that, I'm just trying to see my comments here so we can all watch together and I can see what you're saying. If I have to point the camera down, it makes it easier. Hi, Anna. Amazing. So some of you may remember that, um, I don't know how long ago now, I pr probably could have even been last year, that I used these other large wooden tags that Essential Stencil has available. I did forget to put the link for this one. And I'm not sure if they're still um, on the site or not. They may have sold out, but watch out for these because they are huge. They're lovely. And I created this one called uh, Bloom. Uh, from the spring stencil set and the transfer set but I love to use the backs of them too so what I'm going to do you can see this one I've stained see the difference and this one is raw that's one of the things I thought what about if I made a bride and groom wedding set out of this then the bride and groom can keep the set and use it for their home and create a bloom spring set. So we're going to do that today. That's one of the things we'll be doing. So tell everybody it's, it's wedding themed today. If you know anyone who's getting married and loves a bit of craftiness, we're going to use the whole entire set today, the entire set, every, all three stencils. You know, sometimes I like to mix and match. We may be doing things a little differently, but I want to show you all things wedding. Thank you, Larry Christie <laughs> for sprinkling and Karen's here. Awesome. And I know some of you love to craft while you're watching. So let me know if you're doing something stencily or crafty today while you're watching the live. Let me know because sometimes people love to have it on in the background and that's great. Oh, no, don't know if that was it. Yeah, it is quite warm here. Um, okay, so this is what also we're going to be using is the small tags. So we have the large wooden tags and then we have the small wooden tags and they come in a three pack of um, three packs of wooden tags. I've just got two left in this pack. And <clears throat> there's one that's stained and here's one that's not. So we're going to be staining that today. I don't know if you watched my live the other week when I used Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint and I showed you how to create a stain using that. Well, I've still got that leftovers. <laughs> Funny story. Because what happens with milk paint is it's a powdered form and you mix it up and it lasts about a week in the fridge. Well, it's been about two weeks and it's still good. Uh, I open it up. There's no odor or anything like that. It's still good to go. You just mix it for enough for the project that you're working on. All natural kind of paint. So um, I've used that and I popped this in the fridge for later staining projects because I still have a little bit left in there. Hopefully it'll do everything that I need to, to um, stain today. 
Um, but it is in an old salsa jar. So my husband did pull it out of the fridge and go, mm, salsa, am I supposed to be using this on my corn chips? No, babe, this is milk paint. Maybe label it, but it's pretty obvious when you open up that it's watery and a stain and you don't want to be putting your, dipping your chips in there. All right, so I've got a couple of signboards, uh, just planks of wood that actually are already, have that old stain finish on them. I also have a box. I'll be showing you what I do with that in a minute. Can anyone guess what kind of thing that I might be making with the box that's wedding theme related? And last week I painted on one of these and I was going to just do another one for my shop and I thought oh, that would be perfect for the wedding stencil set today. So let's get started because we do have a few things to do. Oh, and our project today does involve some burlap. So um, stay tuned because I'm going to do all of these things. And so we're using, again, I'll let you know, this one is on sale this week. In fact, if you, I'll, I'll give you a little clue. If you type in the word sale or go to the menu, the shop menu on Essential Stencils page and there's a drop down. You go to the word sale. There are lots of things on sale, you guys. Um, so this is one of them. It's on sale. Wed Welcome to our wedding. Let me go through the set with you to show you what we've got. It's a three pack and they're large 16 by 12 inch stencils. We've got Welcome to our wedding. Um, then we've got this gorgeous bride, groom, Mr. and Mrs. So you can use that. You can, there's the and symbol there to use as well. And then we've got these gorgeous script font, reception, gifts and cards and ceremony. So maybe you can guess what I'm using that box for. Maybe you can guess what I'm going to do some of the signs on today. But first of all, we're going to use some of that milk paint that was left over from last week. Um, yes, Gina's guessing it. Yes, correct. I'm making a card box with the gifts and cards um, stencil. And <clears throat> so we've got some of the tags here. We've got the large wooden tags and we've got the small wooden tags. Uh, I'm not sure if these are in stock at the moment on Essential Stencils website, but you can have a look there for those. Use my link and my code. I restore stuff uh, to get 10% off anything in the Essential Stencil shop. If you've just joined me, hello and welcome. Let me know what you're crafting. Yes, correct. Everyone's guessing gift cards for that box. Yes, I'm going to do something to do with that. If you've just joined me, you may remember I have done this or you may have seen this on the Essential Stencil website. Um, these large tags using their spring, some of the spring set. But I thought what great idea because I love to use the other sides of things as well. So you can double up with your purpose, either using you know, seasonal. You can do a holiday on one side and a season on the other side. I thought these would make great um, bride and groom stenciled items for a wedding. So then the bride and groom can be gifted this side, obviously, they can be gifted the whole thing to use as decor for their home, the new home. So we've got this one stained. I'm going to show you really quickly how super easy it is. And I'm going to stain my small tag at the same time to match this one that I've already stained using Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint that I've pre-mixed earlier and you can actually see this on my live from about two weeks ago. So this has been um, already pre-mixed. It's just made as a stain using one part powder and three parts water. And I'm just uh, wiping the majority off on a brush. But I've, I did both sides of this one just this morning and it's dried really quickly. My tip for when you're staining boards like this and you want to stain both sides is do the edges first because you can actually hold your hold your piece. <laughs> it's a bit harder to hold it when one side's painted and then you don't want to get your fingers wet. Let me see if I can see some comments while I'm doing this. Sandy says she loves that celery green that's on the other side of these boards here and the background there. I think it's eucalyptus by Fusion Mineral Paint might be the cupboard color that I used on that one. So as I'm staining, I'm just going to go really quickly over it. See, there's just still so much left on my brush because it's just a watery paint. Let me see if I can get up closer to you there. And as I go, I'm going to use just a, a blue, uh, just a shop cloth to, or any lint free rag and um, wipe off the edges and wipe off the 
excess. But still, I haven't dipped that in that stain. That stain's going to last a while. I only used one, probably one tablespoon of the milk paint powder in the color Curio. Um, and I, if you would like the link um, for a 10% off on the Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint, if you haven't tried that before, they do come in sample sizes. If you like that link, let me know in the comments and I'll go back afterwards and send you that link. Um, so there you go. That's stained super quickly. This one's dry and this one's wet. You can see the difference. After this is sealed, it will have this nice deep dark tone. So let's do the other one of these, which has the same on it. Now when I'm doing milk paint, I always swirl around the brush into the jar just to make sure. I'm just going to add a bit more water on that brush. Oop, I flicked it. Now this one's already been painted oop, on the sides. So let me now I'll fix up my little splashes, which hopefully they'll just brush in. On the side, I had painted this black, okay? So I'm just going to be really super careful to not get that over on those other sides. If it does go over, it's not going to... Uh, um, see how I'm flicking it off the edge and I'm not starting on the edge? You always start just before you get to the edge so that it doesn't drip down that edge there. Wiping that off on the edge of my bottle. So we're just creating a background. Welcome to everyone who's just joined. And yes, Essential Stencil has put the link there for the stencil set I'm going to be using today. We're doing all things wedding themed and I've got a few projects on the go. So. Let's see how much I get done today, but I wanted to use the whole entire set <laughs> today. Uh, but you don't have to rush um, when you're doing your project. I just like to see how, how much I can get done on this slide. It's not a competition. All right, so I've got my stain almost all done there. If I did get any onto the sides, I can always um, just sand that gently off later and I'll just again use this shot cloth and because it's raw timber the stain's going to just soak right in if you feel like you've gone a little heavy in one place or another you can just simply i'm going to grab some water out of here dip just a tiny bit in water and it may just lighten it up slightly there we go so we're going to let that to dry while I get started on some of my other projects. Okay, so that is a Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint Stain. If you do want a link for a 10% off on Miss Mustard Seed Milk Paint, I can give you that link. And the stencils today and the tags, I'm not sure if they're even available, but because I do know that they were um, out of stock at one stage of the wooden tags, but they are popular, so don't you worry. If they're missing today, they will be back soon. Okay, I'm just popping that in the plastic bag in case I want to stain something later. So here's our stencil set and we're popping these over here to dry. And our tags, that should dry fairly quickly. Okay, so here are some just basic old rustic pieces of timber that are quite sort of similar tones in colour that I'm going to be using the Ceremony and Reception stencil for this reception ceremony. Oh, look at that. I've almost got them in the right place. I'll do that one in a minute. We'll go back to that one. And I'm just going to use a really simple, easy, bright white. So this is Casement by Fusion. <coughs> Deborah says, my son is getting married in September. That's exciting. These would be so cute to have. Yes, and they're on sale at the moment, Deborah. So they're in the sale section. We've got the link up there. Use my code IRestoreStuff and you can get 10% off that. Okay, so white, just going to add a bit that I have shaken, shaken, shaken the bottle. I've got a bit on my brush from the lid, but I'm still going to wipe that. Now be careful when you're wiping this off, I don't want to flick it onto my project down there. So I'm flicking it on my cardboard over here. You can, I don't know if you can see that, but I've got a little sprinkle just here. And then I'm going to offload my brush this is a very used piece of cardboard. I should go ahead and just paint it 
and have it all the one color. All right, so here we've got this board underneath with the word reception. Now I can't tape it down at all. I'm gonna to have to use my hand, keep it firmly in place. And we've got this little line at the end here, so we wanna get that going. Yep, oh, don't have enough on my brush. Got to add a bit more. And sometimes that happens. I would rather have um, not enough on my brush than too much because when you get too much on your brush, it starts to bleed underneath the stencil and cause those fuzzy edges. And some of you mentioned that, have mentioned that, that, oh, someone else's daughter's getting married in April, Tammy, or was that Tammy before? There's a few of you, that's great. These would be perfect decoration. Um, and for those of you who are crafters and actually sell your signs and crafts at markets and things like that, wouldn't these be lovely to have available, um, you know, as an option for people to have a gorgeous homemade signs, farmhousey style? That you could do any kind of style really with these with these lettering and everything. I'm just offloading the brush down there. It seems that the paint is nicely soaking up this. I mean, the wood actually is soaking up. Oh, it's Cindy's granddaughter's getting married in December. Listen to that. Like, I think spring and summer are just lovely seasons for getting married, but December is winter. That would be beautiful if it was well, I don't know. We don't get snow. I would think it would be beautiful to get snow for a wedding, but anyone have any, anyone have any funny wedding stories to do with weather? That would be interesting. I'm sure there's some with rain and rainy, rainy days. I have a feeling I did that upside down for a second there because I'm doing And now we'll do ceremony. And these are all from uh, the, what is it called? Welcome to my wedding stencil set. Okay, so I'll see, I may not need more on my brush just yet. Yes, I think I do. So let's move that aside. And to where we were offloading. So these um, just are fairly, they've got a bit of a base, but if you had a thicker piece of wood, they would actually work nicely just as standing up on a table, or you could use them as a little signpost for guests to know which way the reception is, which way the ceremony is. Some weddings these days, you know, they have them sort of at the same, has two separate areas for the ceremony and reception. And so, um, you could have these attached to a large signpost could even have those arrows going or signpost or these boards you know in the direction of an arrow but you would kind of have to know ahead of time what the placement is and how that would work so last little bit there super easy and there we have our reception and our ceremony signs there. <clears throat> now, I think we'll do next is our gift box. And so what I have here is just this large plain brown box that I actually had in the cupboard. I didn't even go out and purchase it. I honestly was just thinking about what could I do on this live today and um, found this box and thought, ah, oh, perfect for the, uh, gifts and cards sign here. But in order for, uh, someone had this brainwave of an idea last time I was trying to do something and I was gluing everything to, uh, I was actually um, doing stencils on the project and someone said you could actually add Hessian and then you know, it, you would be able to take it off and reuse it for something else like another season. I'm like, oh, smart people. We have smart people right here in the comments, I tell you. Um, Yes, Brenda, she said uh, she'd love to order this set too. Hey, I want to also tell you about, uh, and you may have gotten an email if you're on the email list, um, the sale that's coming up, a March bundle, a huge bundle is dropping this week. 
um, on Thursday night. There is a sneak peek available on the website. I've posted about it on my page. I restore stuff and Essential Stencil has posted it about it on their page also. Um, there's a March bundle dropping. And Thursday night it will be available after midnight from the Essential Stencil app. And then on Friday it will be available to everyone on the EssentialStencil.com website. And use my uh, link. I will be giving you that link. I'm not sure if you can use my code, but you can get 10% off. I think that's correct. I'm going to go check my information now. Um, but yeah, you can always try your code I Restore stuff if it doesn't work. That's, that's okay. You've still got an awesome bundle with the March bundle. Okay, so I have measured out. I've just gotten a roll of this uh, burlap. It was just from one of our, you know, our Kmart, but you can get it from a craft store. The size of the box, let me see if I've got my ruler here. Oh, look, I haven't got my inches. I've just got my centimetres. So it's about... Okay, I know, well, no, I don't know. <laughs> it's about 13, 14 centimetres, and I know that 15 centimetres is about 6 inches, so it's just under 6 inches wide. So that's probably how long the box is, because you can see that that's... Okay, so I've measured enough to wrap it right around here, so what I'm going to do is find the centre of this, which is right here, <laughs> and uh, use that for my stencil. So let me just measure that up. Make sure you're in shot so you can all see. So this is just burlap. We call it Hessian. And we're doing this for gifts and cards. And I'm hoping that it will all show through nicely. Put my box aside. So this one I probably can... Oh, where did I put my tape? Here it is. I can tape this one down just to make it a little more sturdy. And I don't think it will matter about the words either side. I'm not, my brush isn't going to reach there, but if you're worried about your brush accidentally getting on any of these letters, you can tape those off too. All right, so here we go. We're just uh, stenciling on burlap with a bit of mineral paint. You can use any acrylic craft paint. Carla says a dollar bill is six inches. I had no idea. Wow, you could use a dollar bill. I wonder if we don't have dollar bills in Australia. We've got dollar coins, but um, and all our and all our notes are actually different sizes and different colours. So that may not work for us here. But <laughs> um, all right, I'm going to pounce a little bit with this. You know that I usually like to swirl when I'm doing um, my stenciling, but We've got to pounce a little bit, I think, with fabric that's got a really loose weave like burlap does. And so I'm just doing a little bit tighter. Let me see if I can push it in. I need to sit down on my back's hurting. <clears throat> yeah, there's, this is a great uh, stencil set to get. Now, you can use gifts and cards for a number of different birthday or uh, event type situations um, so it's even worth getting just for that now that it's on sale at the moment I'm not sure how many they have left in stock so if you want that don't delay use my code I restore stuff to get you 10% off uh, but you can do this for all sorts of parties an 18th the 21st um, anniversary you know a special anniversary uh, event that you're holding what about graduation uh, something like that you might think of some other ideas that would be good as well to use this gifts and cards idea for a box. What else have you seen uh, gifts and cards for weddings or for events? What else have you seen them um, use apart from a box? Maybe a well, like a wishing well type bucket. I've seen that idea. Has anyone else seen any other fun ideas? I'd love to know. Oh, maybe I'm not seeing some comments there. So let me know if you've got some other ideas. This would be great for a wedding. Oh. Yes, um, someone said they like using chalk paint. Chalk paint's great too. You can use that on fabric. This is uh, mineral paint, but it's just a furniture paint that I have in stock because I am a furniture painter here in Australia 
and you can see any of my upcycling ideas at irestorestuff.com. If you are in Australia, you can get fusion mineral paint from my website right there. Bird cages, yes, a hollowed out log. Kim, that's an amazing idea. Wow, I wonder where you found that. <laughs> a hollowed out log. And you can just make this on one of these kind of board signs, couldn't you? And uh, just sit that in front of whatever item you're going to use. Yeah, someone else used a bird cage. An old mailbox decorated up for cards. A treasure chest box. I love these ideas, yes. Great inspiration. <clears throat> Okay, pouncing again on this little line here because I feel like it's a little bit trickier to see. So let's have a look at how that turned out. And if we do need to go over for a second coat or anything, we could possibly do that. The other idea you could do, and you could still use the burlap idea, is put it on a piece of card, card stock, and then just tape it to the front of your box also. So let's see how that turned out. I think that worked. Lovely. So now we've used the entire set for that one. Let's have a look at what else we can find to use. These are awesome ideas. A suitcase, a cute suitcase. Perfect. Old windows used for decorating. Oh yeah, decorating would be beautiful with old windows. So there we go. We've got gifts and cards. Now to take that to the box, I've actually just got some, oh, we have to make sure we've got it in the center there. Let's see. Pulling it back a little so I can see Whoop, this way, that way. I just have to get up and have a look, won't I? Oh, the little lines go exactly right to the side. So see how the stencil set, where is it? Oh, making sure I didn't put it in any white paint. <clears throat> you could literally just do that on the front of the box itself. So there's no problem with doing that. It just reaches right to the edge of that box. However long that is, someone's going to ask. In centimetres, it's 35 centimetres exactly. So it's just over, it's probably 12 and a half inches, I'm going to guess. Um, all right, so that's about centred on my box. And I just got some, I'll lay that down here, and I just cut off there. So this is the one I want to put over. But I've got some double-sided tape, so I'm just going to see how that works for now. And I'm just going to pop my brush in a wet cloth. Now, if you're going to use your um, brush again, which I will be in just a minute. So let's see. We want some double-sided tape for right about here. So, whoop. And I need it about this long. So I'm just going to pop that down there. Can you see? Oh, we're just out of the shot. I'll leave this up a little bit longer. Cut that off. I love all your ideas. Yeah, the look on the burlap is quite nice, isn't it? Does anyone else have a struggle with trying to get the double-sided tape stuff off? There we go. So that's one side. Now this is the cut side because this other side has been hemmed on the burlap. So if you are, um, you know, now that I've cut that other side, I probably will need to, and I may need to uh, do some double-sided tape around the top edge as well. But for now, I'll fix it up. Oop. Yeah, see, that's not going to work very well, but hey, we've tried, we've tried. And I'll just use some really quickly for this, but you may want to use some craft glue. So. I may go back again, this will hold it temporarily in place, possibly, if I'm lucky. Um, but otherwise I might have to go back and just use some craft glue. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit awkward. Not going to work, guys. So we will pretend that we've got some tape right here. Let's just go like that. <laughs> and we'll fix that later but you can see how that would work you would craft glue this I could even hot glue gun that possibly all the way around to make sure that that's going to stick there um, tape it with some 
painter's tape just for now so we can get the idea. And then of course you've got to cut a hole in your box. Probably I would cut, make sure it's a really good size to fit large cards in there. Um, or some people may just lift the lid to put their, put their things in. But there you go. So we've got now a gifts and cards box. Now uh, let's start with our bride and groom and Mr. and Mrs. on our tag. So if you've just joined me, you may have missed that we are using some, oh, it's just a, got some little wet patches right here, but that should still be dry enough to work with. These are a project I did another, on another live, and we're doubling this up as a wedding decor using our bride and groom stencils to go on the back of these. And then the idea is that you would then gift that to the bride and groom and they can use it for a lovely spring decor in their home. Lovely housewarming wedding gift at the same time if you were doing that for somebody. <clears throat> so we're going to just use the bride and groom part of this. So I will just tape this to make sure that I don't get that. And it really doesn't matter which way we go but I'm just going to do bride on here. Now, then you could decorate this with whatever you like. So if you had a bride who had a certain color theme, you may want to use some of those peony spring gorgeous. I'm going to do it down a little bit lower because sometimes when you're hanging the tags, you may want to glue them so that they sit in a certain direction so that we can still see the word bride on here when this is okay. So I'll move that. No, I won't. I'll just leave it right there so you can see. Moving it down slightly. We've still got our brush ready with our white paint on it. Offloading that as much as we can. Oh, there we go. Oops. Okay, holding this down or we could take that obviously. Um, and I'm just going to I've offloaded the brush and we're going to go round and round. Now this is the 5 8 inch essential stencil brush and <clears throat> it comes in a set of four, the brushes, and if you order those you can also use my code I restore stuff, add that and get you 10% off. Load. See how super quick and easy this is and now you could just do these in a lot of different colors but remember when you're doing signs to make sure that you're contrasting the color with the background. So if I have a white background I'm obviously going to use a dark color paint and because I've got dark color background here with the wood stain I'm using a white or a light colored paint for that. Okay, so we've got our bride, still the, the duck that we may have a little bit of a connection issue, but that's okay. All right, so then we've got this one that has the blooms on the back of it, the peonies, and we just want to move that tape across to make sure I don't take, don't use that there, the mister, because I'm going to put those little guys on the tags. So then we've got groom down here. You could decorate up here. The reason I'm also shifting this down is because you've got then all this room that you could decorate with other things. Now you, it could be literally gluing, hot gluing fl uh, floral arrangement or some kind of other decor that would match with the theme of the wedding. So that leaves it open then for, for you to do other decorating on the, the tags. And these are the large wooden tags. Yeah, don't forget that we have prizes, prize giveaway. If you're new to Essential Stencil and you haven't watched a live before, we give away th to three lucky winners at the end of our live. If you are watching the replay, you can comment the word replay within 24 hours after the live and also have a chance at winning an Essential Stencil product that they will send out to you. 
But most of all, I love learning from some of the people in the comments and also those people who are in the Stencil of the Month Club. Great inspiration and ideas over there. So there we have got the groom. So we've got bride, groom. It leaves it open up here for a whole lot of decorating and you may want to just uh, hot glue those together to actually hang them. So a lot of the, um, the uses of the wooden tags People love to just glue those so that because otherwise if they're just hanging we've got these ropes here to hang them from or you could choose ribbon you could choose you know anything you like but then you could have a lovely wreathy kind of floral arrangement that's going here and someone else is commenting on the brushes yes they are great okay so we've got our bride and groom large tags now our tiny tags we're gonna see if we can fit mr. and mrs. on this if I go this way let's see now these are a little bit big for the tags, but we just make it work. So we've got the Mr. and the Mrs. Let's see if we can put this down. Love all the hearts. Thank you for all the hearts, guys. <laughs> yes, someone says it makes me want to do more, more crafting, more stenciling. Let's do the Mrs. up here first. Now, uh, when I was trying to arrange this last night, I feel like I'll just let, let that S go off slightly at the edge. I want to make that uh, M flourish come right up near the right up near the um, the hole. There's a hole right here, but that S will just escape the <laughs> thing. So you can either lose this or lose a tiny bit off the end so we'll just go with that we've got our oops, offloading done and so then you can just hang these tags for decor at the wedding maybe it could make a whole bunch of them and put them around the place or they would also look great on a tiered tray look has anyone done tiered trays at weddings I think that would be a lovely idea, like a table centerpiece or something, or even for the cake table or something like that. You could have them sitting there because they do tend to sit on them by themselves, you know, on their edges. So there's misses. See how we've just, and it, you can't really tell that that S is missing just a tiny bit off the end. So that's cute. See how they just sit by themselves if you wanted to sit them on a tiered tray or a table. And then we've got our mister. Yes, cute for ta wedding table decorations, exactly. Wedding chairs, you see, um, you know, people hanging flowers or something off a chair. You wouldn't necessarily need the misses, but imagine hanging those wooden tags off uh, some of the chairs with some bow, ribbons, flowers, whatever you want to add on there. Okay, I haven't dipped my brush again, but I see I might need to. So we'll do that, offload the paint. And see how super quick this is. Now, because I've used that milk paint as a stain, I am going to need to finish this with a sealer at the end once that stain is all dried off. So I might do that on my page, my I Restore Stuff page, a little bit later after I've done the live here with Essential Stencil. If you wanted to follow me over onto my I Restore Stuff page, you'll be able to see that there. So we've used everything except the and symbol on this, this stencil. Now for the last one in the stencil set, remember this is the three pack set. It has three different large stencils in it. And the last one we're gonna use is this one, Welcome to Our Wedding. And we're just going to use one of these sign boards that was already prepared earlier via craft shop. Make sure I've got my hanging things on the right way. And once again, we have these little board slats that we can work around or work towards, work with, <laughs> however you like to say that. Let me just move across here. So it says, welcome to our wedding. We don't want something, this little two hour to get lost in this gap down here. So what I'm gonna do is play with the movement of it. And this up here, now this wreath up the top, 
let me mention the Stencil of the Month Club again today because for this month, for April's Stencil of the Month Club set, oh, just make sure that it's not getting paint on it. Um, they do have a couple of gorgeous, gorgeous wreaths. Now, if you haven't seen those already and um, you want to still join and you haven't joined the Stencil of the Month Club, uh, you can see and have a look at what, what is available for April. But there's these gorgeous wreaths that have roses. I think they're roses or peonies just around the wreath. And there's another really thin kind of lovely wreath as well, as well as some letters. So lettering and um, Essential Stencil might pop that link up there too. But you can use my code IRESTOREStUFF at stencilofthemonthclub.com and get 50% off your first month of ordering stencils. So there's that as well. And each month you get sent a set of three stencils, kind of similar to a three pack like this with that large size and everything coordinates together. Some beautiful themes. So have a look at that. But this today made me think of that wreath. And I'm, I'm going to put this on here for now, but I feel like I'd love to come back with those um, with those wreaths when I get my stencil of the month club in the mail, which it's shipping uh, now, I believe, all across the ocean to get to me in Australia. So hopefully I'll come back to this and add a bit more uh, of the roses on that. So I may need to tape something here. Let's have a look. I'm going to just tape that because I'll do the wreath part last. Just make sure I don't. I don't um, accidentally use my brush there. All right, so I've offloaded, let's see. And I'm just holding the, the whole stencil down tight. Now, once you've practiced and practiced and practiced, you'll get to do this speedy zoomy style, <laughs> like I'm trying to do now. Yes, it is. The Stencil of the Month Club is amazing, Sharon. Great name, by the way. <laughs> Um, yes, if anybody can uh, go to the Stencil of the Month Club and uh, sign up there, you, there's three different subscription uh, deals on offer there that you can check out. Um, but use my code, I restore stuff, and get 50% off your first month. All right, so we've got welcome. And again, we could use a shadowing technique or something like that to to just bring that out. But there's our welcome right in the center of this board. So I want to move this down to where I can see uh, two hour and then wedding. I may have to just slightly lift that up once I've got the these letters on here. So we've got the two lots of words on the different and I'll just see if I can bring that just a tiny bit closer. So if I lift this very slightly, I can see that that's right at the end. <coughs> oh, there's a little fleck of paint there. And I'm going to bring this slightly up because that G tail, the tail of the G, uh, goes down a little bit too far. So let's see, it's not too far. Up, oh, And then I can fit it in perfectly. Now I do want to tape this though because I don't want to be accidentally getting my brush on that and possibly these words just in case I get carried away swirling my L, uh, what is that, D's, the D up the top of the D. Hi Vivian, thanks so much for coming on and saying hello. Tracy says, just got done stenciling and using a transfer on a butterfly box that my husband made for our three year old granddaughter. That sounds amazing. Tracy, I think you are in the Stencil of the Month Club. I hope you post your pictures there. I love seeing some of the inspiration that our Stencil of the Month Club members have um, posted in the group. Lots of fun. Yes, Maiton says, I never thought of moving it like that. Yeah, so I always do this. I just kind of move my stencils around to where they'll fit on the signboard that I've got. I tend to just do use recycled or find boards on sale or um, that kind of thing. So I don't usually go out of my way to create a board specifically the size of the stencil. 
a lot of the times I literally am recycling timber. And so I find a piece of board, like I found these, it was actually two pieces and I've cut, I mean, it was a big long piece and I've cut the ends. If you missed earlier, we've created a whole wedding themed um, set. So this board was literally this long and I've cut it down to the right size and we've got the ceremony reception signs, we've got bride and groom signs, we've got Mr. and Mrs. signs, we've got all the things happening today. Okay, so there's our welcome to our wedding. Now you can just use, oh, imagine all the gorgeous peonies or whatever, but if, if it was, if the bride had a certain color theme, you could decorate all around here with different things, different colors. Um, so I am going to just pop these wreaths on here but I did mention the Stencil of the Month Club has these gorgeous wreaths with roses on it that I think would be perfect for this kind of a thing also. So I'm just going to pop that down the bottom. <clears throat> so it's not going to look exactly round because it's going to look a little bit <clears throat> elongated. Or you could just add these out to the sides here. So many different options with essential stencils. I tell you, we love finding different uh, ideas and options for them. Sue says, you're very busy here today. Yes, I am. Thank you for all the hearts, Sue. I am. I thought, I can use that whole set. And then I just found all these things in my home. Literally the, the bloom set that I was um, still working on. I mean, I had worked on for another live and I was waiting for an idea to put on the back of them. But I do like the idea of uh, gifting it as a spring decor to the bride and groom once they finish their wedding, you know. There we go, we've got our lower one. <coughs> Almost finished guys, and we'll be picking prize winners at the end, so uh, don't go anywhere. Hi Barbara. <coughs> oh, lots of people jumping on now, that's amazing. So I'm just gonna tape off this area here where the M is to make sure I don't accidentally, oh no, it's not an M. I'm, I'm watching this upside down, it's a W. Um, yep, it's a W. Okay, so I'm placing this now around about center of this board that's at the top. And I think we've got our last little bit of dip in the paint. So that this brush has had a little workout today. This is the 5 8 inch essential stencil stencil brush. It comes in a set of four. And there are some times where you'll be using all four and maybe even need more because you'll have so many signs on the go. But these are a great idea, this set, for an addition to your sign making if you're a market person and sell your, um, sell your products at market stalls and things like that. Here's my, I had a wet cloth here that I often will just wrap my brush in if I'm going to be using it possibly at a later time. Okay, there is the all three in the set that's called Welcome to My Wedding. Now let me, who wants to see what we've made today? We are almost done and we're gonna pick some prize winners, but I just wanted to show you everything we made. So this set is on sale uh, in the Essential Stencil site. So look at that, we could add floral, um, if you've still got some of the peonies, and they will be restocking those, don't panic. Um, this one, this set is on sale. And I'm going to go onto my page later on and just show you how to seal these. So we've got our Mr. and Mrs. And you can add, you know, the strings to those, which are we're somewhere here. You can add the strings or you can to hold them up. Or you can uh, add some extra flowers, that kind of thing. You could hang them separately. You could have them sitting whoop, upside down, sitting on a, a table as table decor or a a tray so we've got that and that we also have our reception and ceremony signs that you can you know hold put them on a post and have them pointing in different directions if you had shaped wood in the shape of those arrows you could do that so if you've just joined me and you missed any of these you can go back and see the live to see what else we've done and then oh and we've got our gift card box I'll show you that in a minute boy we were busy today I hope everyone is, was as busy doing their crafting projects while they're watching. Then we've made our bride and groom uh, signs on these wood tags. And now imagine what would you add to here? A gorgeous big wreath type bow, uh, flowers, fresh flowers even for the bride and groom 
decor. And that is, of course, on the back of a project that you can look up the lives right here on the Essential Stencil page. I used it on the back of this and I thought, what a great way to use it for a wedding and then gift it to the bride and groom as a spring decor type thing. So there's that. And then, of course, we've got our card box, which I have to still glue the burlap on, but gifts and cards, great way to then pop a hole in the top, a slot in the top of the um, in the top of the box for that to for that to work. I've actually got to glue this. I've got a hot glue gun that whole thing on. Uh, so there's our all our stuff that we did today. So we are ready for our prize winners. And uh, just a reminder that use my code I restore stuff and don't forget there is a March bundle dropping this Thursday night at midnight on the app and <clears throat> Friday it will be available on the website the essentialstencil.com website but you can see a sneak peek of all the fun things now there's teacher gift ideas stencils there's graduation ideas oh, I'm trying to remember some of the other things tools I saw tools and I'm a handy person myself and I love the tool stencils so that is in the March bundle app that sneak peek is on the website now um, I can send you the link for that if you want but that is dropping very soon and you can use my code I restore stuff there and also save so there's that and our winners have been announced let me give a shout out to I've got to click on the little see more button Tina Sue and Sandy Tina Sue and Sandy congratulations you've won some essential stencil prizes so uh, stay tuned because if you have uh, are watching the replay you can also comment the word replay and win have a chance for winning they'll pick another prize winner there oh some lovely ideas coming here I would add a, yeah I've missed that one I'll have to go back I love to go back and read your comments actually um, but if you wanted to join my go and have a look on my page I restore stuff I the links are there in the description of the live you can go and check out my page there and I will be sealing these with some top coat sealer show you a different couple of sealers that I have available here in Australia or where you can get those um, but there you go there's some ideas for your bride and groom wedding set available at essential stencil with that link that they've showed you there I'll be back guys next week for another live DIY I'm Sharon from I restore stuff and I love being on here and thank you so much for being a wonderful audience Thank you so much for sharing the lives and I will see you again next week. Congratulations winners. Bye.